There it goes. Got one. Revenue Adventures, welcome to another episode. Today we are going fly fishing using poppers. See, I got this little white popper right here. We're gonna go for panfish. I was here a couple days ago for a family picnic, and uh, we actually did really good, but I didn't have my camera with me, so I'm hoping to repeat that. We got some uh, really nice 7 to 9 inch bluegills using the same popper, so. Yeah, let's, so let's go. Let's go catch some fish. All right, guys, we're just at the beach area. We're just gonna go walk in the water. We're gonna stay away from the beach goers. And hopefully we can find a spot to get into the water. And unfortunately, I forgot to bring my glasses. So it's gonna be a little harder to see. But uh, I do have my buff on. You gotta protect yourself from the sun. I got my Bass Dash uh, sun shirt on with the hood on, so that's gonna help out with the sun because the sun is pretty bright out. So, but yeah, let's get on the water. All right, guys. So yeah, we are out at this beautiful lake. This is a very popular lake, especially for boulders. As you can see behind me, a lot of jet skiers and everything. But this is also a really good lake for panfish. I was here about a week ago and, uh, and we hammered the bluegills. But the water was a lot clear. We had a lot of high winds this week, so the water's a little murky. And unfortunately, I couldn't raise, any, raise anything up well, with poppers like, uh, like, like, like a week ago. So, But I just switched my fly to a wet fly and hopefully we get something on that. But this is a basic echo lift fly rod. This is a three weight 76. 76. Then I'm using a Reddington Zero fly rod or fly reel. So, yeah, so let's uh, go try to catch some fish. There he goes. Got one. It's good to know they're still here. Oh. Just look how beautiful this fish is. Beautiful fish, beautiful sunny. Because of the murky water, they're really not hitting top water today, which is uh, which was one of the main purpose why I wanted to come out, but. Look at this beautiful coloration. This is about hand size. So this is probably about seven and a half, eight inches right here. Beautiful fish. So this one go. There he goes, beautiful fish. There he goes, got him. Another beautiful sunfish. Right here, guys. Another beautiful fish. This one inhaled it. There he goes. Man, the water feels really good. I'm just wet waiting. Let's see if we get something to bite on this side. It's, they seem to be biting on the other side more. There he goes. Got him. Got him, guys. Oh, it came right off. It came right off. That's all right. We'll get them again. This year's been a really odd year. They are they're actually breeding or spawning a little later than, than normal. It's middle of June. Uh, usually they're right about done, but there's they're still some are still on the beds. 
But when you're fly fishing, you'll want to keep your tip as low as to the ground, as low to the water as you can. You want it to be straight in front, facing towards where your fly is. So if your fly is more to your left, then you want to point to your fly. If it's more in the middle, point more towards your point towards the fly. That's the key thing about fly fishing. And that's going to give you a better hookup ratio and you have a little bit better control of your fly. And when a fish hits, you can actually feel the line being pulled through your fingers right here. And basically, this is a bird balance fly rod, as you can see. I just hold it without gripping it. And I'm just letting the line kind of slide through my middle finger. Or it could be your pointed finger as well. It's up to you. Whatever you prefer. Then when you cast, you can lightly grip it and then start your cast. And recast and do it all over again. So basically, this is all I'm doing. And just to have a little bit better control, I just put my thumb on top. So when I need to set the hook, I just lift up and fish on and fight. Just like that. There he goes. <laughs> we got a little tiny one. What is this? Oh, those looks looks like a little baby bass. <laughs> I want something a little bit bigger, so. There he goes. Got him. Looks like a bluegill. Yep, a little sunny. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I'll show you guys. Beautiful fish. Look at that. It's got the nice. Look at that. It's got the nice bluegills right here. The nice, beautiful color right here. Beautiful fish. Oh. Come back here. <laughs> it doesn't want to give up yet. Let's let this one go. Beautiful fish. As you can see, I'm standing in probably just waist deep, so at least three, at least two and a half, three feet. I can feel a fish pecking at my feet, so I know they're in here. The bluegills, panfish are really curious fish and uh, stand still in the water. They'll come and peck at your, your feet, so. Well guys, the fishing was a little tougher today, but we still caught a few, which was pretty cool. But uh, yeah, we're gonna call it a day, so it's gonna be a very short film, but uh, hopefully you guys like it. Just using a fly rod with uh, poppers, small flies, and uh, have a lot of fun. So, yeah, when the water's a little clear, the fish can see a lot better. And, uh, yeah, you can literally catch hundreds of them a day. So, yeah, hopefully you guys like this video. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot more fishing and camping coming up. So, we'll see you on those video. And, uh, as always, follow your dreams, follow your passions. Make it happen, guys. Catch you guys later.